Okay, here we are today, uh, February 17, 2015, at Blue Canyon Airport, California, elevation one mile high. And we're about to take off to check the status of the California snow pack, which is indeed dismal, the worst in decades. One five Celsius, dew point minus zero one Celsius, altimeter three zero two two. Remarks, density altitude six thousand two hundred. Blue Canyon traffic, light sport one Mike Sulu, departing runway one five with a left turn out up the hill, Blue Canyon traffic. Okay, even uh, going light today, this is not a very long runway, and I have to gain some speed where we can get this baby flying. Blue Canyon traffic, light four one Mike Zulu is upwind off runway one five turning uh, left crosswind and climbing up the hill, Blue Canyon. Well, some folks have been asking me, Rich, we got some great rain, is the drought over? And the answer is, uh, well, yes, we did get two good rains, one in December and another period uh, briefly at the beginning of February. But that's been about it. And although it did uh, bring several areas up to about average in rainfall, we've had abnormally warm conditions and there's essentially been little or no snowpack. And snowpack is what we really rely on to fill our reservoirs in the spring and to provide water through the summer and fall until the next rainy season. The uh, snowpack right now up here in the Sierra in the various zones is averaging about 25% or less of the historical average. Uh, this mountain right next to us here is uh, over 8,000 feet and in a normal, uh, normally at this time of year, the snow there would be measured in tens of feet. And as you can see, all there is uh, right now is a few scant inches of snow in a few locations. And uh, the snowpack at higher elevations ahead of us here uh, is in not, not in much better shape. Okay, here's the summit. Um, over there you can see one of the ski areas which still has a little bit of snow. It's uh, on the north facing slope. Down below us is uh, Donner Lake. And um, right over to the left is Donner Summit, Highway 80. And we're gonna, oh, we're getting a little gnarly here. Right on top, we got some uh, wind flow coming over the top at us. Gonna turn and uh, drop down over Highway 80, Donner Summit. You can see how bleak the conditions are here. Now the lakes are still frozen up here. It's been cold uh, at night, but uh, daytime temperatures have been into the 60s and the little bit of snow we had is gone, it's melted. And now we're experiencing record high daytime temperatures. little bit of oxygen there. I'm not going to be up here very long, but um, still a good idea to have it. Going to drop down now for a low pass over Spalding Reservoir. The last time I flew this reservoir was about three or four years ago, and it was in March, 
and the snow all along here was a good 15 or 20 feet deep and you'll get a look at what exists here today well it turns out i was lost this wasn't spalding reservoir coming up it was fordyce reservoir fordyce lies at 6400 feet and is surrounded by mountains that range from 8,000 to 8,500. But this was a good way to wrap up the survey and show the very meager size of the snowpack and illustrate how what does remain is all along north facing slopes. It also shows why Californians are in for big trouble water wise this coming summer. Stay tuned right here for updates and browse my other videos on Sting Flight.